Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at the Laura Lee Vigie Botanical Gardens in Berlin, New Hampshire, and I'm joined by Sean O'Brien from UNH Cooperative Extension. Sean, the other day I'm out mowing my lawn and I noticed that there are some wasps hovering around the ground there, yeah. and then it looks like they're going into a nest. Mm -hmm. Is that common this time of year? It definitely is, it, and there's uh, a number of different wasps that we have native to New Hampshire, and especially the ground-dwelling wasps that can be kind of problematic if they're in a high traffic area. So you want to watch out for those. But I will say that these wasps can be very beneficial to us though. Um, there's there's a, a few different uh, really beneficial aspects to them, um, including controlling other insects that we may not be a big fan of, like the tomato hornworm. Um, that's a big one that a lot of gardeners have a big problem with. And these wasps will actually lay their eggs on the back of the hornworm, and then the eggs will hatch, and then it will kill the hornworm. And furthermore, these wasps, a lot of them are actual pollinators for flowers and vegetables and things like that. Now, we should differentiate these wasps from, like, say, the yellow jackets, right, mm -hmm. that tend to swarm, and, you yeah. know, if you're mowing the lawn, can really come after you. Yeah, well. absolutely. And yellow jackets, especially this time of year, they build up their numbers throughout the whole summer. And so around September, they get uh, their wasp nests are, are big in number and they, they can actually be pretty aggressive because they will defend themselves. So you have to be careful about those, especially when they're in places like walkways or around places where you do a lot of uh, traffic. Yeah. What about, yeah, for instance, there is a wasp nest maybe um, where my children play yeah. or something like that. You, I want to get rid of it. You so want to control that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we would recommend using a chemical uh, insecticide for that and you want to be very careful and you probably want to take care of that at night when the wasps are both in the nest and less active. They're more active during the day. So you, you want to make sure you spray it. Get one of those ones that spray 10 feet or more. Spray it and then have a nice shovel full of dirt that you can put right over that to cover them up and keep them inside. And then how long do I let that sit for uh, and before, you know, trying to see if they're all gone? Yeah, I would, I would give it a couple of days. Um, once you put the dirt on after you've sprayed it, you want to walk away and it's very slowly because you don't want to, they actually are attracted to fast movement. So you want to cover it up, spray it, cover it up, walk away and then um, leave it for a few days and then maybe check on it to see if you see any activity after okay, that. Okay, and then hopefully then you won't be bothered by them. But remember, if they're out of the way, they do help. They are pollinators. And that's it for today. Grow it green.